Speaking too quickly is a common problem, especially when you're nervous or excited. It can be difficult to control and make it hard for people to understand you, which can ruin your presentations, interviews, and conversations, or videos, in fact. Fortunately, there are several techniques you can use to slow down your speech. So here are seven tips on how to speak slower, plus, if you stick around to the end, one exercise that will change the way you sound forever. Hi, I'm Jimmy Cannon, speaking coach, and I help people who aren't comfortable in their voice find the confidence to deliver their message with authenticity. I'd love you. In fact, I urge you to subscribe, like, and comment. It really helps me think about topics, find out who my audience are, and just keep me, keep me going, quite frankly. So number one, practice speaking slowly. Very simple, one of the best ways to stop speaking too fast is to practice speaking slowly. Start by timing yourself when you talk. Try to speak at a rate of about 120 words per minute. Record yourself talking and then play it back. This will give you an idea of how fast you're speaking and help you to adjust your speed. Number two is to slow down your breathing. Another way to slow down your speech is to slow down your breathing when you take slow deep breaths, your speech naturally slows down. Try to focus on each breath and take your time. Number three is using pauses. Pauses can be very effective in helping you slow down your speech. When you pause, it gives you time to think about what you want to say and how you want to say it. It also gives the listener time to digest what you've just said. Have you just digested what I've just said? Good. Number four is control your outbreath. So controlling the rate of your breath as you speak will help you lengthen your phrases and also stop taking too many in-breaths. With practice, you'll find that you'll need to take fewer and fewer breaths in between phrases. Number five is avoid using vocalized pauses or fillers. Vocalized pauses such as like, you know, can make it difficult to understand what you're saying. They can also come across negatively, giving the impression to the listener that you're not absolutely committed to your content. Try to avoid using them and focus on using pauses instead. Number six, focus on articulation. Articulating your words can help you slow down your speech. Pay attention to how you're pronouncing, as I'm doing now, each word and focus on speaking clearly. Speaking too quickly can be a difficult habit to break, but with practice and patience, you can learn to slow down your speech. Number seven, sing your words. Opening up the timbre of the vowels in your speech will not only improve the total quality of the words, but also slow down your sentences. Here's a quick exercise you can do to open up the tonal qualities of your speech. This is called an intoni exercise, and I want you to count from one to five in your own language very, very slowly. But I want you to do it on one pitch. So one is gonna be one. Really think about the beginning of each sound, the vowel placement, the position of your articulators, your teeth, your tongue, your hard palate, etc., and how wide your mouth is, and the position of your mouth. And this is one of the techniques I use with my clients. So, one, two, we try to do it on one breath. Three, I took a breath, I cheated. Three, four, five, really open up the sounds. Now, then once you've done that a few times and listen to the quality, the timbre of the vowel sounds, then say it normally. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And experiment with different pitches, different paces, and really open up the sound and exaggerate. By following these tips, you'll be able to speak at a pace that's easy to understand and more effective for your conversations. Articulating your words in the process of speaking clearly and precisely means that emphasizing certain syllables or words pronouncing words correctly will avoid mumbling and slurring. So finding space between the words and articulating them is going to help you to communicate more effectively, basically. It also means enunciating each word so that others can understand you. Articulating your words can not only help you speak more clearly and slowly, but it will also give your speech more power and emotion. I really hope that's resonated with you. I'd love to know more about your challenges, 
in communication at work or socially or both? Are you suffering from public speaking anxiety? Is your voice just not being heard or is it not carrying? I can help you with all these things about dynamics, pitch, tonality, what to say, when to say it, even though you haven't got anything in your head to say. Speak soon.